Sometimes what you really need in your life is some good speech-shaped noise, so let's check out how to make it. This Prot script uses some materials that were already made in articles that are cited here. So when we run this script, we get only two things we need to declare, the duration of the noise we want and the sample rate. So if I press OK, it's going to ask me what sounds I want to put in to the speech-shaped noise. So if I combine all of these different IEEE sentences right here, what it's going to do is concatenate them, figure out the spectrum of all of them combined together, and produce for me a noise that sounds like this. So if we make a spectrum of this by selecting the whole thing, going up to Spectrum, View Spectral Slice, we can see the general shape of this. Now it doesn't really correspond to any particular speech sound, but is rather the long-term average spectrum of that whole selection that I made. We can also see that the energy drops off precipitously at around 11,000 Hertz. So if we really want to get a sense of the shape, what we want to do is select that part and just zoom in, and now we can see the general shape, which is pretty low frequency centric. It starts to drop off as the frequency gets higher, and then kind of stabilizes in the higher frequency range. So we can do that with um, IEEE sentences, spin sentences, any kind of sentences you want. One thing I wouldn't recommend doing is making speech-shaped noise for a single word. So for example, if we only chose the word heat to make our speech-shaped noise, it'll do it, but what this sounds like is this. It just sounds like someone whispering E, because that was really the strongest part of the signal. And if we view the spectrum of this sound, it should come as no surprise that it really just looks like the spectrum of the vowel E, with the first formant, second formant, third formant, and so on. So when making speech-shaped noise, you really want to base it on, on a long stretch of sounds um, that can serve to fill in a lot of the gaps in the spectrum and really give us a good long-term estimate of the energy in the signal. Another thing you might want to do is make a noise that's not just speech-shaped in the spectral domain, but also in the temporal domain. So I'm going to make a short sound here. Let's just make it about 2.3 seconds long. And what I'm going to do is incorporate all the spectral energy from the first 10 spin sentences, which sound like this. And instead of this relatively flat intensity contour, what I want to do is impose the intensity contour from this sentence here. Is plan meant taking a big risk? Which has sort of characteristic fluctuations in amplitude that represent, you know, the syllable rate, the phonetic structure, and so on for this actual utterance. So to do so, I'm going to take that sound, click on to intensity, keep some default parameters there. Now with this intensity, I can't really do much yet. So I'm going to say down to intensity tier, and then finally to amplitude tier. And this is something I can use. So I'm going to take this amplitude tier, hold down control and also select my speech shape noise. And now I get this option to multiply. So now what I get is a noise whose amplitude envelope follows that of the original sound. So now we have speech-shaped noise that is also speech-modulated noise. So how can I make a really long speech-modulated noise? Well, let's start first by concatenating all of the spin sentences together. I'm going to select them all, combine, concatenate. Now I have a long stretch of them. Now some of them have some silent gaps in the middle, and maybe you want to go in and clean up some of those gaps so you don't get a stretch of silence in between them. But for now, I'm not going to be so careful since we're just demonstrating. So we have this long sound, and what I want to do is make some speech shape noise and then take this long sound, which I'm going to rename string of sentences, and then eventually impose the intensity contour of all these sentences on my long speech shape noise. So this is about 20 seconds long. So what I'm going to do is run my speech shape noise script. I'm going to declare the duration to be 20 seconds. What sounds do I want to use? All of these spin sentences. Okay, now I'm going to take my string of sentences, do what I did before by clicking to intensity, down to intensity tier, to amplitude tier, take that and my speech shape noise, multiply them together. Now I have a long speech shape noise that is also modulated, concordant with the sentences.
So now the next time you want to make some noise, you can make it speech-shaped.